Kodak Black has officially ruined his career, he has blew his entire wave. Not only has he lost many fans and friendships and relationships in the rap game, but he's going to be spending a lot of time in prison and we will discuss the details in today's video. So make sure you watch until the end, you will not want to miss what we have to show you. Also, if you would like to enter this month's Dre Beats giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, watch the video until the end, and comment Kodak, and you will be entered. This month is almost over, and the giveaway winner will be announced, so make sure you hop in before it's too late for this month. Also, if you are a Kodak Black fan, leave a like on this video. I am actually very curious to see who is an actual fan of Kodak after all of his recent conflicts he's gotten himself into because he has been getting a lot of hate. I do just want to say, if you are as successful as Kodak Black and you continue to get yourself put in prison, it's kind of a little suspicious to me and it seems like there's something in jail that he obviously likes and we all know it's not the food. So I'm not hating, I'm just saying it's a little suspicious that he continues to put himself in these positions. I don't know if he's trying to hide something, but regardless, that's besides the point. It is no argument that Kodak Black is a very successful and talented artist, regardless if you're a fan or not. But with that being said, Kodak has decided to throw all of that hard work away, and he has been ruining his career in so many ways. He's currently in prison facing 8-10 to 10 years, and with some new updates on his case, things are not looking very good for him. And that 8-10 to 10 year sentence may even turn into a life sentence once everything's accounted for in his trial and his verdict. We don't know what's going to happen. These past few years, Kodak has been in and out of prison constantly for multiple different offenses. In 2015, he was arrested for kidnapping, battery, and other charges. December 2015, arrested for marijuana possession. Just two months after he was charged with drug possession, in addition to more severe crimes. February of 2016, arrest for sexual battery. April 2016, arrest for weapons possession. Shortly after the incident, Kodak was allegedly seen buying marijuana from a drug dealer. He then got in his car and drove away, and when police tried to pull him over, he attempted to evade the arrest and he threw his gun from his car, which police later found. In May of 2016, he was arrested in Broward County. According to XXL, Kodak was arrested again. This time, it was in connection to open warrants related to the previous charges of false imprisonment and armed robbery. August 2016, after three months in jail, Kodak was sentenced in August to one year of house arrest and five years of probation. He was also reportedly ordered to complete community service anger management, and community control supervision programs. And then a month later, in September 2016, he pleaded no contest to the St. Lucie possession case and was sentenced to 120 days in prison. Then he was released in November 2016, and he was extradited to South Carolina. That's where he faced a sexual battery charge. And in 2017, he was arrested for violating house arrest and assaulting a bartender. And then also in the same year, April and May of 2017, he had an angry outburst sentencing and house arrest violation, which was because he accused he was accused of grabbing his anger management counselor by the arm after she threatened to call 911 because he was refusing to leave the session. And then five days later on April 26th, he was found guilty on five counts of violating house arrest. And on May 4th, he was sentenced to 364 days in prison with the possibility of early release if he completed a life skills course, which he did successfully finish and was released in June after serving 97 days because Kodak was actually started to seem like he was going to take a straight path for the remainder of 2017. He was actually doing a little better. But then in January 2018, he was arrested for weapons and drug possession. Also, some child neglect. The video showed the rapper in a home surrounded by drugs and weapons with his child nearby. He was arrested for two charges of possession of a weapon or ammo and possession of cannabis over 20 grams, child neglect with great bodily harm, and two counts of parole violation. And then April 2018, sentencing for January arrest. He entered a plea of not guilty and was again sentenced to 364 days in prison for the remaining charges. He got credit for the first 90 days he served in jail while he was waiting his trial, and then he was released in August of that year. And now, after all of this, you would think he would turn straight, but now here he is again in the same position, 
probably the worst position he's been in so far. He's facing a very large prison sentence, and this time it might officially be the end of Kodak's freedom and his career. On April slash May of 2019, he was arrested for weapons possession. He pleaded guilty, the newest updates, he pleaded guilty Thursday to federal weapons charges stemming from his house arrest just before a scheduled concert performance in May. He entered the plea in a Miami federal court. Prosecutors charged him with crimes including falsifying information on a federal form to buy four far firearms from a Miami area gun shop on two separate occasions and he was actually able to attain some of the guns. He got three guns and police say that one of the guns was found at the scene of a March shooting in Popano Beach which cannot be good and his fate is still to be decided. I'm going to be the first one to say that with all of these legal issues over his head and his timeline of being in and out of jail, I don't think the jury or judge are going to be very lenient on him. They're going to take all of that into consideration. They obviously see that he has no intention of staying out of trouble if he continues to do it over and over. I personally think that he has one of the best lawyers because he has not had it that bad for all of the trouble that he's been into in and out of jail. Usually they're a lot more intense. He is in the public spotlight and probably can afford the best lawyer, so he has been getting a lot of help. But with all of this adding up, I don't see how it could really turn out great for him. He is facing eight years, but I do believe that he will be facing a life sentence. And that's just because there's just too much evidence that he's not going to be going straight. And money and fame can only get you so far when it comes to the courts and the decisions of the jury and judge. So if you are a Kodak fan, I'm sorry, but in my opinion, I don't think it's looking very good for him. Also, despite him being in prison and ruining his career that way, lately he's been losing a lot of fans, a lot of followers, and he's even lost a lot of relationships that he's had in the rap game. This is, if you didn't know, Nipsey Hussle recently passed away, which is a tragic loss for the rap game. And just a few days after Nipsey passed, when everyone's still mourning the death and trying to cope with it, Kodak went on Instagram Live and basically tried to hit and spit game at his wife, basically saying how she's single now, she's a widow, and he'll be the best man he could be for her. In my opinion, that's super grimy. I think he deserves to kind of lose a lot of fans for that, and it's just created a lot of hate and negative energy towards himself from other rappers too, not just fans. And that's not something you need, especially right now when your career is hanging over your head because you are facing prison time. You want to have as much support as possible. And he has lost a lot of support because that's just some grimy thing to do. That's not respectful at all, especially when he just passed. He didn't give it any time. I mean, if you're really feeling that way, give it some time. You know, that's just disrespectful to someone who just passed and people are still mourning that death. You don't just go on Instagram and do that. So with everything that's adding up on him, losing all these fans, losing all these followers, losing a lot of respect, and then now having this prison sentence hanging over his head, it's no doubt that his career is going to be over. It's, you know, he may still have a name that people know, but it doesn't look like he's going to be the Kodak in his prime and he can't even be that mad because he's the one who basically self-destructed his career just from being disrespectful and continuously getting himself in trouble when you have all that success and you have all this you earned for yourself it's kind of just dumb to throw everything away especially so quickly you didn't even have that many years of a successful career and now you could potentially lose it all so i am going to end the video here i do want to know what you guys think about this situation do you think that he's going to end up facing life in prison do you think his lawyer may come through for him and he may be found innocent and not face much time at all let me know in the comments if you are a kodak black fan leave a like on this video if you are a fan, I'm sorry. I'm a fan. I do like his music, but it does not look good. So leave a like on this video if you're a Kodak Black fan. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And also don't forget to comment Kodak if you want to enter this month's giveaway of some brand new Dre beats. And I will see you in the next one.